Well, Tony, it's so nice to see you after such a long time. I have to say, I really have missed you on the tour. Do you miss the tour yourself or not so much? Yes, uh, I miss uh, uh, more the, the first year because for me it was so beautiful to be, uh, so nice to be on the tour because I like, I like the, the tennis, I like uh, to be uh, to be there, but now, okay, it's another life. What about the golf though? I assume there was a lot of golfing as well. Yes, uh, but uh, during the coronavirus we cannot play. Yeah, yeah, that's but, true. But, but now, now, last few now we can play again. But so. I always wanted to ask you actually, so who is better in golf, you or Rafa? No, Rafael is much better. Rafael play, I think uh, he has a handicap, I don't know, less than one, zero, oh, wow. five, four, okay. five, four, like this. And my handicap is 10, but I am not so good. Uh, yeah, ten, uh, having has... 10 handicap, I think you're, okay, I know I'm not playing with you guys, that's for sure. What age? Uh, after you started to work with Rafa, have you realized that, okay, he's very special? Never I thought that he's very special. Never I thought that uh, no one of my family is very special. Uh, but always I thought uh, he has a big possibility to be a, a very good player. I remember many years ago I was in the, we were in the, in the house of uh, Carlos Moya. And Carlos Rafael was young, I don't know, maybe 15 or like this. And Carlos Moya asked me, do you sign that in the future Rafael can be like me, a Carlos Moya player? And I said, okay, you were number one in the world, uh, five times uh, in, uh, in the top eight, Roland Garros champion. Uh, finalist in uh, Australian Open, okay, this is too much. <laughs> then I, I said, okay, uh, uh, take me the, take the paper and I sign. I was with Rafael and I tell him when I close the door, I never sign. I am sure that you will be better. Then always uh, I wanted to, to believe because without this confidence, it's impossible to work good. And uh, for me, it was never a disaster, never was a problem not to be good. Because what I like is the work to try to be good. You have to improve. I was a very demanding coach, but not for winning Roland Garros. I was very demanding because I wanted to improve every day. And uh, he knows that what we are doing was never enough. And for this reason, I think he, he has that in his mind all the time because that's, that was my speech every day, every day. For sure, when you are family, it is a little more. Mm -hmm. If you work with you, mm -hmm. I think uh, <laughs> for sure I am not too, what do you mean? You wouldn't be so tough with me? No. Come on. I don't know. I, I cannot. With the family always uh, is a little different. Sometimes it's a little too much. But at the end, uh, I, I, I did always for him. Mm -hmm. he, he knows that uh, I did for him. Uh, Rafael has a, a very good character. He was always obedient. Mm -hmm. Never, he, no one time in his life make me something wrong on court or, or outside the court. Only one time. I, uh, we were in Madrid and it was in 2015 when Rafael was, has uh, some problems with his game, with his mind, and he won the first set. And in this moment, Rafael normally was a little tense. And I said to Rafael, Rafael, take care now. Please put attention and take care. And when I said this, uh, this thing, Rafael make me all, only this. Oh no, don't tell me this. He want to say, don't tell me this because he was little tense, no? 
he make this and then I sit down, I go back and the, the game no, was... No, I cannot believe. And the game was finished for me. I said, okay, I, I don't say nothing else. When the game was finished, he said to me, oh, I have seen what happened, but he told me, I, I said nothing, but was only because I was a little tense for this reason I make this face. And I said, Rafael, never I know exactly what I can say to you. If uh, I say something that you don't like, then don't worry, don't make face to me. Yeah. Because when you start, then it's easy to start every day a little yeah. more. Yeah. And this was the relationship, never. That's unbelievable. Make me something. Um, oh, let's transfer to Paris now, Roland Garros. What is, if you can pick out of all the incredible memories, the most special moment being there? I know it's tough. <laughs> it's tough, but uh, I remember the, the first victory was very important. The first year when we arrived there and uh, when Rafael won the tournament for the first time against uh, Puerta, for me it was a very special moment. Then when Rafael beat in 2010, uh, beat uh, Soderl in the final, mm -hmm. was very important for us. Because when uh, Rafael lose in 2009, uh, we, we went out of the Roland Garros, uh, very sad, no? was a bad moment in this time and I remember when he finished the game I said Rafael next year we have to win here. So you had to follow the rules of Rafa no so if you want to have the dinner you have to go to the same restaurant you can't change can you? No but many times I, I did I, I don't go with him. Ah uh, okay you go to, to your own. <laughs> because I don't like it that uh, he's always with his uncle, you mm. know? I prefer, because when he was with me, may, maybe he, he take care what uh, he said. If oh, okay. uh, he want to talk about, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I prefer that uh, he was not always with me. Tony, thank you so much for your time. Before I let you go, just one more thing. How... Uh, different isn't going to be in your opinion this year going to Roland Garros obviously the dates being much later uh, we have the new roof what uh, how do you think Rafa and the other players have to adjust to the new situation this year obviously good I think the, this year is uh, is uh, complicated to mm. play well no yeah. because uh, f first uh, normally the people uh, is not a uh, full concentrated uh, uh, in his game because everyone knows uh, what is the problem in the in the life with the coronavirus then rafael the last tournament he was i don't know where uh, he played in acapulco was the last tournament mm -hmm. that was in uh, february no from yeah. february february till now are six seven months without playing tournaments is complicated but at the end i hope that rafael can win again mm -hmm. i hope that uh, he can make a big effort and to try to to win the, the next roland garros and if he, this is not possible then rafael has to prepare for the next year thanks to the roland garros to try to make a good tournament like always thank to now to the US Open and everyone that tried that this is a start again well i think um on their behalf of Roland Garros i think they have to thank you Tony for creating such a, an amazing uh, star of our game and uh, no no i don't create thank so much for, nothing, for the tennis. nothing at all i <laughs> i try to work uh, how good a uh, uh, like I ha I can, but it was the, the result was only about Rafael, not about Yeah, but me. we all know how it goes in this sport and that <laughs> it's all about the teamwork. So thank you for creating these special moments in history and uh, let's hope we can see each other in Paris. And thank you so much for your time today.
Okay, thank you to you.